Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Team Tammy or Team Chris? Which one are you? The reason I ask is because on her videos, um, you, we do. I do the comments on her YouTube. I don't do on Facebook, but I do for YouTube. And it is so funny because we'll do a video, and on the same video, some of the videos I talk, and some of the videos I don't. If it's a live video, a lot of times I'll wear a microphone, and she'll wear a microphone, and we'll both talk. Uh, and in some videos, uh, like if it's not a live or whatever, a lot of times I won't talk at all. Um, and most of the time I don't talk. But it is so funny because when I don't talk, some people will go, how come Chris never says anything? I miss when Chris talks, you know, and then you have, um, and, and it's, I'm going to talk in a woman's voice because it's mainly women. So that's the way you're supposed to do that because that's the way my, my grandmother and her sister, they'd sit around the table when I was a kid and they'd talk. And every time they, it was her husband talking, they'd say, well, who said that? I need to shut my mouth. You know, and, and then they so when I am talking as a woman, I use a woman's voice. Does that work for you? But anyway, they'll watch the same video and you'll have people come on and go, you guys are just so good together. It's just such a great relationship. I love the way y'all are so sweet to each other and so nice and so loving and caring. And then you'll have another person that comes on and says, your husband is so rude. He corrects everything you say and it's ridiculous. He needs to leave you alone and let you cook. And then you'll have another person that comes on and says, um, Tammy, you were so mean to Chris today. You snapped at everything he said and you wouldn't let him have this. And you, t <laughs> and it's the same video and you got three different points of view about what's happening. So I've come to the conclusion that there are some people, they're just Team Tammy. And if I say anything about her, or not about her, I'm right there with her. But if I say anything, if I interject in any kind of way, they get mad. Um, now, I kind of chalk that up to maybe they just hate men. I don't know. Or maybe they just hate me. Uh, but I don't I don't understand what they expect when they come on and they make a comment that says, your husband is so rude and he needs to keep his mouth shut. I guess they expect, well, first of all, they don't know that it's me answering the comments and not Tammy. But I guess they, well, sometimes it's Tammy. But anyway, I guess they expect her to come on there and go, I know, he is so rude. I hate him. I wish he'd keep his mouth shut, but I can't get him to shut up. I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of response they expect to get. Um, I don't know. It, it's just kind of weird that they come on there and, and say that. So they're definitely Team Tammy. They are not Team Chris. They want me to, they want me to be barefoot and pregnant, keep my mouth shut. Uh, and then you have the people that, um, if Tammy, bless her heart, if she says anything to me, like like I'm videoing, and when I'm videoing, I'm looking in the phone, because we video with a phone, and I have to look at that and keep her it's not easy to do videoing and moving around the kitchen and we got dogs and we got stuff and if she's using her right hand for stuff she wants me to get on her left side because it's a better picture and we want to make a good video so uh if she says to me get, get on my left um people are like oh my god she's so bossy she's telling them what to do and i'm like well if she hadn't told me i would have got on the right because i wasn't because i'm trying to concentrate on what i'm doing and it's like it's not, she's not telling me what to do. Well, she is telling me what to do. But you know what? So what if she tells me what to do? Because you know what I'm going to do? Either what she says or what I want. <laughs> One or the other. So I don't know what difference it makes. But, you know, that's the way it is. when you Because really what's happening is we're inviting people into our house. This is the way I look at it. If we invite you into our house, because it's not a cooking studio. Now we've done a bunch of stuff to make it nice and to make it easy to cook in and we've bought equipment, we've done all this stuff and invested our money that we make on Connor Valley Cooks into the kitchen so it's a kitchen that she enjoys, you know, and it looks good, you know, for the for the videos and stuff, but it's not a studio, it's our house. So if we invite somebody into our house 
you would expect them to act like they would act if they were in your house. But that's not how people do on social media. If, if it's, if they, they don't treat it like it's your house, they treat it like they're watching some million dollar TV show that is set up for you to critique. And that's what they do. But when they critique us, when they critique the way we talk to each other and stuff like that, because I'm telling you right now, we get along great. We don't argue, and when we do, it's not nothing to it. Um, we really do. We get along fantastically. People, it kind of blows people's mind how good we get along. Because you know, if she is short or bossy or what, however it is you want to say it, because I don't think she is, then I don't have a problem putting up with it. I can put up with it. That's why we're married. Guess what? I like her. <laughs> and I like her personality and I like the thing because that's why I asked her to marry me because I thought well, she's pretty cool and so it doesn't get on my nerves if she is bossy or whatever I might tell her you're being bossy you need to stop you know you could communicate like that and that's fine um, but we don't scream and holler at each other and go nuts -o and all that kind of stuff and, uh, and guess what she kind of likes my personality so, just because you don't like my personality, or you don't like her personality, you don't have to form a team against us. You could be team Chris and Tammy. It could be one team, just like me and her are. We could be on one team together. Um, but it really is funny, guys. Like, you would not believe. And I delete. What happens is I'll go through these comments and if it's a comment, like they give you a thing down at the bottom, like a heart. And if I can't put heart or thumbs up on your comment, I delete it. I just take it off. Doesn't hurt us in any kind of way. You made the comment. And uh, if I start, you know, like if a person does it multiple times and I recognize their name and I go, you know what, they've done this before. And I, if it gets where I know who you are for bad comments, then I, I hit remove viewer from the channel. Now what that does, and this is really cool for YouTube, what that does is they get to keep watching your channel and they get to keep making comments, but nobody sees them but them. So they think they're being mean to you and making all these ugly comments all the time and nobody sees it at all. They, but it's great, they get to keep watching, because that's the whole point is I want them to watch my channel because that's how we get paid. It's for them to watch the channel so it doesn't just get rid of them, it just hides them. And they have no idea. They think they're still visible. So if they're really, really, really strong Team Chris people or really, really strong Team Tammy people, and they get a little too vocal. Oh, there was one lady one time, she hated me. And she would come on there, and I mean just blast me, anything I did. And uh, you know how I wear my glasses and I got them cocked up. I've seen a million people wear their glasses turned up like that. The reading glasses, you know, where they turn them up like this so they can see over the top. That's the point of doing that. And those glasses that I have have a, a strap around them so I, I, I never lose them. They last forever. They're great glasses. But I turn them up just like everybody else does their reading glasses. Not everybody, but just like some people do their reading glasses. And that lady would jump on me and said my glasses, get. I needed to buy glasses that fit, and she was mean. You know what, and I just cried. I mean, I just cried when I would read those comments, and and then I would get, you know, get paid, and then I'd laugh. <laughs> but it's funny, people get, and it, you know, if you're gonna go on social media, I can tell you one thing, you better have a thick skin. Because if you take those comments to heart, it'll drive you drive yourself crazy. Because you got to think, if, if, if 10,000 people watch a video and two of them said something really ugly, that's not too bad. You know, if you're if you're working a cash register at Walmart and 10,000 people come through your register, two of them are probably going to be kind of ugly to you. So it's not a big deal. It's nothing personal. I mean, to them it's personal, but I don't take it personal. I don't care. Uh, well, I mean, I did cry when that lady said that about my glasses. And she, she probably still watches the channel. That's what's so funny is they'll come on and they'll say, "I I know it. I agree." Yeah, if one if somebody says something ugly to other people, 
that are on that team want to jump in too because they're on the same team. And they'll, yeah, I, I can't stand it. Two years ago, she, she said something, and I didn't like it. And I quit watching, and I'm thinking, well, you're still watching because it's two years later, and you're making comments. So, obviously, not only are you watching, you're reading the comments. So, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they watch it because they don't like you. And some people make a living out of that. They make a living out of coming on YouTube or Facebook or whatever and just being ugly and mean and saying anything and, and there's an audience for that there's an audience of people somebody's gonna like like you you know chances are out of a planet with with billions and billions and hundreds of billions of people somebody you can come up with five thousand people somewhere that kind of like you out of all those people so no matter what kind of personality you got there's an audience out there for you um but there's team tammy and team chris and you need to make a decision and get on one of those teams. If you have not committed to one of those teams, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a third option. I'll give you the team Chris and Tammy. The Chris and Tammy team. The combined we're together team. You can be on that team or you can be on team Chris or you can be on team Tammy. And you, you need to decide. Um, and you need to decide now. You, you need to make a commitment. You may need to go back and watch some videos and kind of get a feel for what it is you're deciding on because you don't want to make it because once you're on that team you're on that team for life there's no going back you're committed you know so go back look at some of her old videos or some of my old videos and uh, make a decision and uh and then i'll just you know if you get too carried away with it now you need to you know how people are about sports when they get on the they when they pick a team they get all excited and they get mad at each other comment ugly stuff about alabama and comment ugly stuff about georgia on facebook and say bad things about auburn you know how people get they get wrapped up in stuff like that so if you get a little overboard with that i might have to delete your comment um but we're not going to agree with you if, if they say Tammy was so mean that you know it, it, we're not going to come on and go. You know what? I really was mean to Chris today, but and I apologize to him because I told him to stand on my left side instead of my right side. And I, that that I just bought. I went over the line and I bossed that man, and I just tore his pants off and, and I put the pants on. And I'm wearing the pants in this family and not him. So if you're Team Tammy, take it easy. If you're Team Chris, take it easy. And I invite you to join the other team, Team Tammy and Chris. Have a good day, y'all.